Yo, hey everybody, in this video we're going to create a calculator program using C. This is meant to serve as a practice project to get us used to working with switches and nested if statements. A user is going to enter in two numbers and an operator. Do they want to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Let's begin. We'll start by declaring our variables. We'll need an operator. This will be a character, a char, which I will set to be a null terminator in the beginning. This will eventually be a plus sign for addition, minus for subtraction, that sort of thing. Then a double to store num1. Double num1. I will set that to be 0, 0.0 right away. And we'll need num2, which I will just copy and paste and change num1 to num2. Then a result. Double result, which will, well, store the result. Then we need some prompts. We'll write them in this order. A user is going to enter in the value for num1, followed by the operator, then num2. To create a prompt, we'll use printf to print something. Enter the first number. We'll use scanf to get some input. Scanf. Now we need a format specifier. Since we're working with doubles, we'll use the format specifier of lf, meaning long floating point number. Then store this at the address of num1. Let's copy these two lines of code paste them just to save some time. Then we need the operator. This will be plus minus asterisk for multiplication or a forward slash for division. The format specifier is C because we're accepting a character at the address of our operator variable. Now we do have to clear the input buffer. We'll take care of that in a moment after our test run. Then we have to enter the second number. Enter the second number. Store this at the address of num2. Let's do a test run. Enter the first number, 3.14. Well, we're not given the opportunity to enter in the operator. After typing in our number and hitting enter, we've inserted a new line character within the input buffer. We read that number but we also don't include that new line character. During the next scanf, before the format specifier, add a space. That will skip over any white space. Let's test it again. 3.14 plus a second number, I'll say two. There we go. I'm just going to add a comment here that you need to clear the new line character from input buffer because people might not notice this space right here. I'm just pointing it out. We have num1, our operator, and num2. At this point, we'll create a switch. We'll type the word switch, parentheses, curly braces. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Within our switch, what are we examining? We're examining our operator. We examine this value against any matching cases. If our operator matches a case of plus, that means the user wants to do addition. If these two values match, we'll take our result variable and assign it. Assign it with num1 plus num2. And then this part's important. We have to break to break out of the switch. Then we need a case for subtraction. I'll just do some copying and pasting. Case minus for subtraction. Num1 minus num2. Then multiplication. Case asterisk for multiplication. Result equals num1 times num2. Then division. Use a forward slash for division. And then num1 divided by num2. Then we have to display the result. I'll use printf. I'll display the word result colon space insert a format specifier. We're displaying a double, we'll use LF for a long floating point number. I'll display, let's say, four digits after the decimal. But feel free to pick a different number. Then we will insert our result at this location, this placeholder. Okay, let's do a test run. Pick a number. I'll pick 3.14 plus another number, just two. 
The result is 5.14. Enter the first number, 3.14 minus 2, 1.14. Three point one four times two six point two eight three point one four divided by two one point five seven. Now what if somebody types in an operator that doesn't exist? For example, three point one four P for pizza four twenty. Well we don't perform anything within the switch. There were no matching cases. Why don't we add a default case? Default, and then within this case, let's print the following. Let's say invalid operator. Then a new line character. Let's try it again. Enter the first number, 420, P for pizza, 69, invalid operator. And then the result is zero. Here's another scenario. What if somebody divides by zero? Because mathematically we can't do that. 3.14 divided by zero. The result is infinity, according to C. So this is where nested if statements are going to come in. Within our case of division, rather than dividing num1 by num2 right away, let's use an if statement. We'll use if. If num2 is equal to 0, we don't want to divide by 0. Well, I'll put the following. Printf. You can't divide by 0. If num2 is not 0, then we will let them divide num1 by num2. This is an example of a nested if statement within a switch. Oh, and then we need a new line character because I forgot. 3.14 divided by 0. You can't divide by 0. And the result is 0, what it was initially. At least it's not infinity. That's an example of a nested if statement within a switch. This just demonstrates that within a switch, there's still additional logic that you can perform. All right, everybody, and that is a calculator program that you can write using C.